Hello and welcome to Waves, news making waves in the maritime sector coming in from India. The Indian government's shipping secretary K. Mohandas has said that Cochin Shipyard's plant's expansion program is likely to be funded through an IPO. Mr. Mohandas said that the proposal was to go in for fresh equity shares of 10% as this is expected to increase Cochin's capital base and generate funds required for the yard's expansion program. He said that before the IPO could be issued, some formalities and policy decisions have to be finalized. In addition to this, the Indian government has also received a proposal to classify shipbuilding as a high-priority sector since the industries employ so many people in India. Some news from China. Chinese shipbuilders beat Korea for the first time in Chinese shipbuilding history in terms of volume of shipbuilding orders placed in 2009. London-based researcher Clarkson stated that Chinese yards won 44.4% compared with 40.1% in of orders placed at Korean yards. Analysts are, however, quick to point out that China was contracted to build 53.2 million CGT compared to Korea's 52.8 million CGT in 2009 last year. South Korea has still seven shipyards listed among the world's top 10 shipbuilders. Some news from Panama Canal. The Panama Canal Authority has released first quarter operational results for the fiscal year of 2010. In the first quarter, the canal waters time, the average time it takes a vessel to transit the canal, including the waiting time for passage decreased significantly. CWT decreased 27.5% from 27.97 hours to 20.29 hours. CWT for booked vessels holding reservations are also experienced a decrease of 20.7% from 16.94 hours to 13.43 hours. Total canal transits increased 2% from 3,520 transits to 3,590 transits. The ACP also noted that dry bulk and tankers' transits increased, while in transits of containers, reefers, and vehicle carriers decreased. That is all the maritime news making waves as of now. Stay tuned for more.